Shalom, Most High in Christ, blessed. I'm also Adriel with Israel United in Christ. And as my brother been teaching, we out here to teach the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people. Now, what's your names? What's your name, brother? Oh, John Maxwell. John Maxwell. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Adriel. What's your name, sis? Shimona. Shimona. All right, so John Maxwell and Shimona. Do you guys have any questions about this Bible? Anything that you're not certain about? Anything that you're not sure about, you heard your pastor, your mama, your cousin say something about the Bible, and you're just not sure if it's true or not. No, I'm not saying the Bible is true. I know the Bible is true because I believe in God. So, you know okay. I know you got two. You got the a God up there, but the devil is down here. So the thing is, it's two of them, God and the devil. The devil do exist, but he's not below us. He's walking right amongst us. Yeah, and he reports to the Father. We can read that in Job. Now, my sister, did you have any questions? Okay. Well, I got questions for y'all. Do you believe in God, Sister Simona? You do? Okay. Don't be nervous, sis. We out here because we love you. And we out here to, to build with you. All right? So, my brother Maxwell. So, you say you do believe in God. Give me John 7 and 38. So, you believe in God. So, you believe in the Bible as well. Yeah, I believe in the Bible. I believe all that stuff because God is the one that made this earth. He did. He did, he did make, make this earth. earth. Then he's he's a he's a he's not he's the leader of the whole earth. He made the flowers, everything. Everything, yes, sir. Uh, then I right? believe in God. I believe in the devil too. You should believe in the devil, cause look around you right now, right? Sister Shimona, do you believe in the Bible? All right. So we all said we believe in the Bible, right? Read this for me. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Bring it out. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you believe in the Bible, as we all say we do, out of you shall flow waters that bring you to life, right? That's the commandments. Keep it plain and simple. The commandments. So when I'm looking at both of you, I see that you're not keeping certain commandments. And there, I can't look at you and tell all the commandments, but there's certain visual commandments that are in this Bible that when I look at you, I can see that you're keeping or you're not keeping. For example, my brother talked to you just now about a what? About men having what? Um, I, oh God. Don't let it distract you. Let me stop this from ringing. My sister. Now it's your time. My brother and sister, come a little closer, sis. What did the officer that was just up here tell you about the law? Because we all said we believe in the Bible, and we just read that if you believe in the Bible, out of you shall flow waters that bring you to life, right? I see water. That's the commandments. Yeah. So, what commandment did my brother just teach you? That, you know, if you sit there and they was on the ship, they sit there on the ship and stuff like that, they was wrong. Right, but for you personally, yes, yes sir, that is our history, right? And you can find that in the Bible, us going on slavery with ships. That's what he was reading, right? But what law, what commandment did he say thou shalt do and thou shalt not? What you are able to do and what you should not do. Go ahead and give me that. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. We got you, we got you, Maxwell. Read that again for my brother. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So he asked you, and you say, yeah, I just shaved my beard not too long ago. Yeah, but the Bible said a man should not do what? Not shave your beard. Right. It's a badge of manly dignity. So you should not be doing what, Maxwell? Shaving my beard. Shaving your beard. That's why when you look around at all these brothers, they have beards on their faces. And those that don't, they still have some type of facial hair on their face. Why? Because there's a commandment of God that guess what? Men should not shave their beards. Right. Right? That's the commandment of the Lord. So Maxwell, that's one commandment I can look at you visually, right? Because you say you believe in the Bible. So visually looking at you, you're not keeping that commandment. But guess what? Can you keep that commandment? Nah, sometimes I like to shave my because I you know like can you keep it, yes or no? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I can't keep it. You can it. keep it. I can keep it, but okay. sometimes there I can't Okay, there you go. It, so. I can keep it, but I. You're saying you don't want to, but what did God just say? Yeah. And you say you believe in the Bible. So you're gonna do what the Bible said or not? And that's, that's the division with our people, right? We can hear the commandments, 
But then we have to make that decision on whether we're gonna keep them or not. But you say you believe. So do you believe? Yes or no? Nah, I do believe. You do believe? You don't? Nah, I do. You do believe? Yeah. Okay. So let's read this again one more time, John 7. So I want you to listen very closely, Max. Well, we're gonna go over a few scriptures and we're gonna see whether you believe in the Bible or in yourself. Believe it or not, you said the devil below you. I told you he walking right amongst us. And believe it or not, we can have the devil on us. Believe it or not. The Peace. devil is just to deceive you. Yeah. That's all. It just deceives you. It has you go against the Bible. That's why I said we can have the devil on us. Right? Read that again. John chapter 7 and verse 38. Right and that's okay. Because the Lord gave us repentance. But if you keep the devil on you and you don't repent, that's when the Lord will judge you. Read. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. He, he, he. It's standing in a masculine tone, but guess what, sisters? You got to keep the commandments of the Bible as well. We all do. God said, he. We must keep the commandments. It said, if you believe on me, what you going to do, Maxwell? He that believeth on me will do what? He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. As the what have said? As the scripture has said. As this Bible has said, Maxwell. And the Bible said a man should not shave off his beard. So then now you, well, I like shaving off. I like how I look. It's something about that, my skin all soft. You're really going to get bumpy. You're going to get uh, craters and things of that nature. That's against God's laws. But you like how I feel. You like how you look. You look in the mirror. Man, I'm looking clean. That's not clean. That's unclean according to the Bible. That's right. right. Give me Leviticus 19 and 27. The Lord says it back to back of what we can do and what we can't do. There's laws for men, there's laws for women, there's laws for children, there's laws for a nation, there's laws for leaders. This whole Bible, if you believe on him, as the scripture have said, you're going to do it. Then when he says, thou shalt not, you won't do it. Read that. Leviticus 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your beard. Excuse me. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. That's destroying your beard. Chin strapping. If you can grow this and then I chin strap, that's what mar goes into. Destroying your beard. Or I just cut it all off, get a goatee. That's marring my beard. You should not do that. Maxwell, read. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So, and that's going into tattoos. People do RIPs and things of that nature. But for you, Maxwell, the beard. That's two different scriptures that say that you can't shave off the head or your face. You can't shave off that facial hair or the hair on your head. Now, do you believe that, yes or no? The thing is... The thing is... See, I believe see, it. This is the devil right here. I want you to see this, Maxwell. You say he below us. I told you he walks right amongst us. And sometimes we have the devil on us. Teach! So, let me say something. Yes, sir. Let me, let me say something. Hey. Maxwell, what you... What you Come, what you're encountering right now, my brother, it's not Maxwell's your last name. What's your first name? No, uh, Maxwell is my last name. John. So, John. I'm Yohanathan, all right? That's John Nathan in Hebrew, right? Supposedly. But I'm Yohanathan, all right? What you're encountering right now is a spirit that you've had on you that you're comfortable in, right? So, you're comfortable not letting your beard grow. You're comfortable with that. But I don't want you to confuse that with commandments of God, right? Let me let me hear um, let me hear James two and nineteen. Now I want you to identify yourself in this scripture, James two nineteen. Yeah, let me hear James two nineteen. James chapter two and verse nineteen. Thou believest that there is one God. You believe it's one God, right? Yeah. And you believe in the Bible, right? Watch this. Thou doest well. You do well. That's true. That's correct. So do we all, right? Including people killing people, murdering people, right? You see people on, yeah, listen, you see people at the BET Awards. They, they rap about being whores and whoring sisters out. They rap about murdering and selling dope and doing dope, right? And then who they thank for all of that? They thank God. Teach. That's who they thanking. So read it again. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. Uh -huh. The devils also believe. The devils believe also. So as you're able to state 
So Rock 3224. Yeah. As you're able to state right now, my brother John, right? You're able to say, I, I, I believe. I believe the Bible. I believe there's a God. I believe in all everything you're saying. But I can't do that commandment. What you're identifying is, like my, like the officer stated, the devil is on you, my brother. What you have to do is fight and resist that devil. Watch this. So Rock 32 and verse 24. Because it's a man, it's a man telling you right now. So you don't feel like I can I can take it or leave it what he's saying to me. He just reading that book. I like shaving my face. I like not keeping the commandments of God. I like doing that. Or I like not doing what this man said. What you may not understand though, my brother John, that is God's commandment. Not the commandment of man. That's right. God has commanded you to do that. He's called you to be higher than what you think in your mind. He's called you to be higher than what you previously believed before you understood that you were in sin. Watch this. He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth. You say you believe, right, John? Read. Taketh heed to the commandment. Taketh heed to the commandment. You know what heed means? Heed is more than just hearing. It's more than just hearing. Like you can hear me right now, right? Heed is going into, you hear it and you subject yourself to it. You hear it and you do it. That's what he goes into. But I don't want you to hear me and do what I say. I'm reading the Bible to you. I'm reading the Bible to you. These are not my command. We didn't write this. You have a Bible. You got a Bible at home? No, but I got to get one. You, yes, well, you're absolutely right. You do got to get one. So he that, read it again. He that believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the commandment. Taketh heed to what? The commandment. That means you're going to listen. If you believe, you're going to do the commandments. There is no other way to say you believe. There is no other way to think you believe. Because guess what, my brother? The devils believe also. They just ain't going to do the commandments. Do you understand the difference? If you believe in God, you have to make the decision to do the commandments. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter how you feel. Well, I'm comfortable. Did the ladies like it? Will my face look like a butt? The ladies like that. It made me feel good. It don't know, ain't no itchy. As men, we supposed to be uncomfortable. Right, right. That should be not, that should be just life. Uncomfortable. Your back gonna hurt. Your head gonna hurt. Your face gonna itch. It's hair on it. You understand? As the brother stated, two things don't have hair on their face. Women and babies. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you.